Hello viewers, welcome to this video and today I'm going to demonstrate coordination test for the upper limbs, lower limbs, and for athletes. The first coordination test we have for upper limbs is called the finger nose test. The test is done by putting your index finger to your nose and then to your partner's index finger repeatedly. Then your partner will move his or her index finger in any direction and you will follow your partner's index finger. The next coordination test for upper limb is called finger to finger test. This test is done first by spreading your arms sideward. Then bring the tip of your index fingers together without bending your elbow. First do this by eyes open and then do it also with eyes closed. These coordination tests are used to assess coordinated, target driven movement of the upper limbs. The first coordination test for the lower limb is called the heel knee test. This test is done by placing the heel on the opposite knee and sliding it downward along the shin to ankle. Then lift it making a semicircle, place it again on the knee and repeat the movement. Do this on your other leg also. The next coordination test for the lower limb is called heel-toe test of gait. Walk in a straight line so that the heel of one foot comes directly in contact with toes of the other front. These tests are used to assess the condition of your lower limbs if it can move properly. Now we have coordination test for athletes. First we have the balance broad jump. Bend your knees then jump as far as you can. Then. Land the jump and bend your knees. This coordination test is primarily used to measure a player's short area quickness and burst. Next we have the balance hexagon. Draw a hexagon shape on the floor. Get inside the hexagon. Then jump outside the hexagon and then jump inside. Jump in each side of the hexagon. This test is used to assess the ability of an athlete to move quickly while maintaining balance. 